Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day or night to stop in and visit and check out my video. And uh, I had a request to do a setup for the Ferrari 296 here at Suzuka. Um, and again, thank you to Mark for sponsoring this video. And uh, like I said, just working on a good base setup, something that you can race with, and it's, it's got good pace um, for me anyway. And we'll make a quick lap, and then we'll go over the setup. So again, I started with 55 liters. Even as fast as the 201.53 right now. And of course, my conditions are always like 22 to 24 degrees on all my setups. Unless it's some out of the ordinary. A lot of times you'll get a lockup right there, but it seems really good. Sometimes you get a little bit of an inner tire lockup, but it didn't seem like it, the Ferrari was doing it. And here you, you got to be a little bit careful. I mean, again, the back end wants to come out a little bit, so again, just don't get too aggressive with it. Good straightaway speed. It's good. That was a 201.22. So again, happy with that. Um, and I just wanted to mention something else also. Basically, um, I had a question about, and I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again, um, about TC1 and TC2. So I know a lot of um, other guys that do setups have TC2 at zero. Which again, this is just my opinion. I, I mean, I, you're not using the the uh, advantages of the car because TC2 basically does off the corner. Basically, that is TC1 is for going into the corner. TC2 is basically from apex off. So basically, you know, if you use it to adjust, you can have the car set up a certain way. Maybe it's a little on the loose side. Uh, and all you got to do is turn your TC2 up and the car won't be loose coming off the corners. And then maybe as the car, depending upon the car, obviously, the fuel comes on or off or you get a little bit of, you get a little bit of uh, understeer or this or that coming off the corner, you can start turning that TC2 back down so the car will rotate from the rear. So there's a lot of things that you can do with that. And that's exactly why the Evo 2, the Huracan you know, Evo 2, um, you know, all those cars, you know, they all have TC1, TC2 just for that advantage, just for more fine di dialing in their t their traction control. So to me, if, and again, this is just my opinion, but, you know, maybe certain guys, you know, have a lot of experience with very, very fine throttle control. That's really good. Um, but, I mean, obviously the 99% of us, um, gentleman driver so to speak you know you need a little bit more tc2 because maybe you're not as gentle with the accelerator and it comes around and things like that or gets loose coming you know you get some power oversteer so again that's the big thing with tc1 and tc2 
Um, you know, you got aliens that are, you know, every hundredth. I mean, they're so exact, so precise, so exact with their throttle inputs, their brake inputs. They could probably get away with not having a TC2. But again, for 99% of us, it's there to me for a reason and is there to take advantage of. And again, you know, if you're coming off the corner and you're having to counter steer, you know, any amount, I mean, a little bit, no big deal. But if you're having to do a lot of counter steering, you're wasting time. Um, so you're better off to have the TC2 dialed up. So when you're coming off the corner, it's just driving out of the corner, not where you're having to steer the car a bunch to correct it. So again, that's the reason I set the cars up. Like right now, this has TC1 is 3 and TC2 is 5. But again, use that to your advantage. Do it if you have a lot better throttle control. You can turn the TC2 down. Just turn it down for your for how you know good you are as far as throttle control. Or maybe you not need to add a click or two for coming off the corner. So again, it's just a good middle of the ground base, and you can adjust it to fit your driving style. I try to get on the gas a little early. So I'm, I'm more of a guy that likes to get in decent, but I don't want to mess up my com my coming off the corner. So I want to be able to get back on the gas as early as I can. And sometimes maybe I run a little bit more TC2 because that way if I get a little bit too aggressive, it saves me from screwing up a lap or wrecking or whatever. But maybe that doesn't fit you. So just keep that in mind and you can adjust that accordingly, accordingly to your you know driving style. So enough rambling on. I'm just trying to help... Uh, Pretty much how I do it and why I do it, um, the way you know with the with the traction control. So here's the setup: we got 25.3 left front, 24.9 left rear, 25.3 right front, and 25 right rear. The toe's a negative 0.15 with the camber at negative 3.6 and the caster at 11. The toe on the rear is positive 0.1 with the camber at negative 2.9. All here is um, uh, pretty good. Now, if you want a little bit more turn in, I would go up to toe to go like negative 0.2. Um, I would do that if you wanted just a little bit more turn in. So, again, keep that in mind. And that if you just want a little bit more, you don't need to adjust the, the balance of the car. That's what I would look at first. And that would just give you a teeny bit more turn in. Uh, but other than that, if it's fine the way it is, I would just leave it. Electronics are 3, 4, 3, and 5. And again, like we talked about, you can adjust those as according to your driving style. Of course, 55 liters with the number uh, 1 brake pads. Tire wear was excellent. Mechanical got 4 on the anti-roll bar. 61 on the brake bias. Steering is 14. Springs on the front are 188,964 with a 500 bump stop rate and a 2 bump stop range. And on the rear, the springs are 150,818 with a 1,000 bump stop rate and a 15 bump stop range. Any roll bar is 2 and the preload is 80. So again here, um, pretty much dialed lots of different spring combinations. But here there's not a lot of grip of Suzuka. So, you know, I, I kind of a little bit, you could go one more click up on all the springs if you would like. Um, but... I ran a little. I ran obviously faster with this package. I think it's because you know it doesn't have a lot of grip, and the springs, a little bit softer springs, kind of help get the car, uh, get some grip on the track. So again, I think it's a better way to go. Um, let's see what else. That's about it. I mean, everything else is. You can go down to 60 on the brake bias, but I wouldn't. You probably won't have to do it for a long time. Uh, probably not till like the last bit of the stent or something it seems pretty balanced all the way through but you can go down to 60 depending uh on your situation with no problem shocks on the front are six three one four and on the rear they're four one two five all dialed in by motec and it came in really good so um they should be pretty close again every time i come in i dial you know went over them and a few clicks here a few clicks there and of course depending upon what i'm changing Arrow got 51 in the front, 54 in the rear with an 8 wing, a 3 and a 3 in the brake ducts, and the front arrow variation is a 2.4 to the positive. Um, again here, the wings, if you have good track conditions, you might be able to get away with one click less. You could go maybe down to a 7 wing. That gives you to a 3.0 front arrow variation. Um, but again, I went with this because the speed was still good. 
And again, here you got so many corners. You can lose so much ground through these corners or wreck. It's so easy. So I, I didn't want to go down really one. I, I liked it here. Um, and, it, and if you got too much rotation, I would just click the right height down one click to 53. I would probably do that and try to leave the wing alone unless it's just too, way too much. But I would try to go down to 53 there. Um, to try to kill some of the, you know, stops some of the rotation um, and even maybe go here to the bump stop rate and go down one click to 800. So if you got, if you want to do something, like, if you got a little bit too much rotation, um, especially corner entry, uh, that's where I would probably do that. I would try to leave the wing alone. You know, if it's too much uh, for you and you want to go up one, then just leave those where they're at and go up one click on the wing. But it probably will slow you down a little bit on the on the straight, so you'd have to really uh, be able to make it up there in the, in the corners, which you can. I have in the past with other cars. So again, I'm just trying to find a good balance for everybody. That you know, if you need to click here, click there. That's why I try to go over this to try to help suit your driving style. Um, and just you know, it shouldn't be more than a click or two off of what you need to do. So again, I hope it works great for you and you run a personal best. I mean, I think it should be in the two O's with no problem in the right conditions. Um, so I don't, I don't see a problem with that. Um, but and that's you know around my pace. So again, I think it's there. And again, I hope you enjoy it and give me a like and subscribe. It would really help the channel. And I want to say thank you to everybody that does. I really appreciate it. And of course, I'll leave a link to this in the description and a link also to this will be in my discord and of course i'll have a discord link in the description also and of course i do have a paypal if you want to help support the channel that way um, all my setups are free but i do really appreciate uh, any support with paypal i appreciate it and again i hope you come back and visit again really soon y'all take care see ya